Hey, it's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the polygonal lasso tool to select a selection that has straight edges and sharp corners of various polygonal shapes. And so let's get started. Here we have an image of some sort of dome. And to get to our polygonal lasso tool, we want to look for our lasso menu, which is right here. And we choose polygonal lasso tool. And then we click and we see that little O up here, which means we've clicked, and then we can drag a line to somewhere else, click again, and that becomes the first line of our selection. Then we click somewhere else, becomes another selection, another line, and the goal is, of course, to make it back to our original starting point. And when we're very close to our original starting point, a little circle will appear beside our icon. See that, that circle appeared right beside the polygonal last tool to the bottom right of it. So if I go away from the starting point, it's gone. I go near the starting point, comes back. And that means if I click and click now, that selection is going to be a complete element with no gaps in it. If I click over here, it's not close enough to make the connection between the starting point and the end point. So you always, always want, to, want to come back to the start to make sure that little O appears. And then click. And then we have our selection completed. Now we can copy and paste that. We can fill it in with a color or superimpose another image in there. Whatever you want to do with your selection now, you can do. And the polygonal just means that it has the, the sharp edges with straight lines. If you want to have more rounded edges, you'd use the lasso tool. And so once you have a selection made, you have some other options up here. So we can, using this button here, we can add to the selection. So let's say you forgot to select a part over here that you wanted. You can make a new selection to select the piece that you want. And then make sure you go back to the start. And then we have that selection added. Maybe there is a part that's missing from the main selection you want to add to. So then we make sure they overlap. And we so make a selection. Go back to where there's, there's the little circle. And we click. And then that selection is added to any existing selection on the page or in the project. Then we have the minus selection option which, or subtract selection, sorry, which means we can subtract a certain area from the selection. So let's say we don't want this last little arm down here. We can just draw with the, or point and click, I mean, with the polygonal lasso tool, close that selection off, and then it subtracts that area. And then we have the intersect option as well. And that's one of the last predefined options. So if we click on that, wherever this new selection intersects with an existing selection, that will be the only part that's kept. So if I draw this selection through here, this is gonna be a very random looking selection when it's done, but only the points where there's an overlap between our selections, those are the only points that are going to stay. So when I close this loop, all the other dashed lines, all other selections that were not intersecting here will be gone. And so that's what we have left. Those are the parts that we're intersecting. And then we have the feather tool, which allows us to make a softer edge of our selections. Anti-alias allows for smoother selections, smoother edges. And the refine edge is a very in-depth tool. It's an awesome tool that I have another video for. There's just too much content in there to be covered in this video, but it's a great tool. You should definitely learn how to use that. And that is how you use the polygonal lasso tool. It's pretty straightforward. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, share on social media, and check out higherlearninglab.com where I write tech tutorials every single day. Talk to you soon.